Hi everyone and welcome back to the Paveless Movement YouTube channel. Today I want to show you Margin Note and show you really the advantages when it comes to literature research, um, especially a student, I would have loved using Margin Note. And why this is, we will find out now. So let's dive into this. Let's open up Margin Note. And in Margin Note, we have documents, we have study, and we have review. And what this means, Let's open up my PhD thesis, for example, and I made some tests here already. And what you always will have, you have these pages here of your PDF file that you imported. You can import a book where you want to make studies from. How I would have used it during my PhD, actually importing scientific papers that I really want to keep track of some things and you have on the left side always the pdf on the right side you take your notes and you can change the size like this so you see already that i made some notes here that looks a bit strange but when i click on here you see now what happened here it highlights this so i delete this and you see it's gone on the side but whenever i click on this it shows me what i actually selected here let's go to another page so when i use my mouse for example I can click and hold and highlight this box, for example. So this now can make OCR if it is not OCR yet. So it will recognize what's in there. Usually you have PDFs in there that have OCR already done. Then you can make a comment. So you see it takes a picture of this part, puts it on the side, and I can add a comment. See, I can also add some information. I can draw there whatever this means and then so I have some information how this connects I can also highlight in there and that's it and then it is stored here as one card and here now you can go add to mind map bam so this was added to my mind map so what this means and you see now this became green and I go now back and I go to study and I open up this you see now the information that I just added I can zoom in and I see the information here and you see I had added other information there already. And when I tap here, I jump around in the related documents. So here again, I can nearly go full screen. I can go here and create new information to my mind map. So let's zoom in so you can see it better. See, keep in mind, I can tap on this and drag it around so we can actually take it behind this. We can add a comment here as well. See, we can select several ones and then drag it like this. So we can, I think you see it already. We can go here and we see all the information in our related document. So it's a bit hard to explain. But the thing is how I would use it when I was doing my PhD or when I'm doing research for my work, then I take out the information that I really need and I would build up a mind map with this information. So I think you see the power. So all the notes I do will be building up a mind map right away. And you see in the examples for margin node how complex you can make this. You can build your custom mind map. You can start to connect the different PDFs with each other. And now you see when I tap here on the different parts, it will jump to the positions in my document. Okay, that is mentioned there. With the advantage that I always can add more information there. So you see now, for example, like this. So I can really build up work instructions. And, and another advantage is that I can actually import videos. So this works as well. So I can really make an interactive mind map this way. So I think this is something really interesting. So what if you are not using scientific papers or anything like this? I think margin note is still something very useful when it comes to building up concepts and understanding uh, things. Because mind mapping, if you are one of my inner circle members and you watched my masterclass about mind mapping or you watched my online course about Miro, where what I use right now for building up concepts, I think margin note still has an advantage here because we can add videos that's not possible in Miro actually but also we can use it to do online research so let me show how this would look like I would just go to Wikipedia for example or whatever website you are looking for let's search for something and we want to have this to research for example so we just go to export and when you export you have actually margin node in there as well 
you can add margin node here as well. I tap on this, it will take the post and I can post it to margin node. Then I go back to margin node and see downloading web page. And now we have it there. We have the web page, Wikipedia or other web pages in here, including the active links. And we can also highlight this. So you simply just select the text that you're interested in, add to study, for example. So this would just make a new card for study. I show you this in a bit, but I also can add this now to a mind map. So you see, I'm building up a mind map here, can click research. So it will search for the sentence that I had here. So this is very convenient to see. And we can highlight it like a normal text highlighter. See, it changes also the color of the box that we had here, depending on the color we choose here. When we make it blue, the box becomes blue. So that's really convenient to use. I can look up uh, certain words in a dictionary. So this is there as well. And I think the most powerful thing that we can do here is really building up these mind maps. So another way is just to build these mind maps is select something, drag and tr drop it over here and you have it like this. So that's that convenient. Then I can click here, I uh, can bring it over here and you see it's connected now with each other. Let's bring another page. So we will just add on the side. You can obviously do multitasking as well. Let's search for something else here corner nodes, for example. And then again, we just share this with margin node post. And in margin node, we go back web downloads and it saves it all here. See, and now it added the corner nodes. I can select again. So we have to select the text here on the side, but we click the button up here for the mind map. And you see it builds up a mind map out of this already. So if we want to have several documents in one mind map, we go to manage up here and then we say kernel nodes. And now you see we have both documents in one mind map. See, there we have the kernel nodes and the settle custom, and it is represented by these boxes here. So let's just select something in the kernel nodes, drag it over and we have it in here. Let's connect this with each other. And now you see it gets together. So this really works when you have several documents, you have tabs up there. So let's just close this to make it bigger again. We have tabs up here and we can add as many things that we like. So we add another document. What well, This is a video, for example, that's running here. So we can actually click here and cut it. So you see it is now cutting out the part of the video that we are interested in and stop it. And now you see that we actually edit the video here and it is the video snippet that we have in here. Okay. So we only see when we click on this, we only see the part that is interesting in there and we can add some caption or information there. And I think this is really, really great. So now I can go back to the document add another part, drag this over here. So you see how seamlessly I'm in, I'm building up this information think this is really great. So I can also get rid of these boxes. This doesn't matter. The documents will stay connected, but it is easier to get these cards together. And the advantage of these cards is actually that you can close these cards. Now think about if you have a complex mind map, this will be really helpful. So I think this video would become far too complex when I go in all the details of margin node three. However, as you know, if you're one of my Inner Circle members, if you want to become one of my Inner Circle members, let me know in the comments below if you would be interested to get an in-depth online course about Margin Node. I'm happy to create some for you so you will learn exactly how to use Margin Node the best way possible for studying and researching information. And once this is available and you don't want to miss out on this, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll catch you up and let you know next time.